Hmm. Trying to plant another Mila surveillance device. And pop back here in the railroad headquarters. See if we have something new going on. I'm thinking about trying to get more settlements to join our cause. Might have a chance to do a second attempt at a larger settlement. Let's see how a differently structured settlement would work. Get some, motherfucker! Fighting again. Hey. Let's see if they left anything useful for us. You're going down. That's menacing, right? To fight another day and night and day, etc. etc. Okay, two shitty turrets. Why is there a missile launcher here? It's a trap. I don't care. I'm sort of interested in the Name traitor. Only a fucking coward hides. Yeah, a live coward. Why aren't they? Needs. When you turn up, you're dead. Clutch isn't happy. Just understand it. Dumbass coward. I love old world widgets. 
worth a fair amount too. It's a stack of cash. The higher floor. What's mine is yours, pal. So no signs of coming down. Show your face. Come on, I dare you. I don't dare. Well, if they're coming down, they're gonna come through Scared, that. Huh? Should be. That's what I thought. Safe control. I didn't even notice a save. <laughs> well, there's a direct wire to it. I've got no excuse not noticing it. Got it. Ammo, 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 money, ammo, silver. Ah. It's not exactly terrible loot, but it's also not a huge amount of ammo either. Sweet. I wonder if someone would make a mod for this game to re replicate New Vegas Hardcore mod. More stringent, uh, more restrictive carry weight demands, harder healing, that sort of thing. Maybe need to drink and eat on a regular basis. It seems to be better built for that anyway. And some raiders. Raiders might be a bit bored. Raiders or developers, one or, one or the other. in the shadow. There should be more enemies.
sleeping enemy. Prepare Sandman's Sandman kill. <sighs> Another barbarian. What? In the snows of lust. Right. Apparently, a big problem during winter time. Yeah, more fragmentation grenades. Silver wonder glue skin. Pretty typical setup. Not too bad of a mission. These never are. Kill a few things, plant the device, go home. More fragmentation grenades. How many do I have? I probably should store a few of them. 32. Right. Oh, well, we can easily cut that number in half, and I don't see how we could really keep up anything by doing that. Just stop ca carrying too much weight. Another one favor done for Tinker Tom. What would be another good settlement point? even Oberland Plus Station. Actually, I was thinking, is there something south of this city? Never even been there. I'll go take a look. Don't have to do any specific looting or anything, just... Uh, Coast Cart Pier is actually a fairly dangerous location. Hmm. Um, yeah, south from Hardware Town. <laughs> Let's give it a try. It just needs a couple of uh, guys there. I mean, this element. Uh, I would be more interested in just retrying constructing a different type of thing instead of uh, creating some kind of settlement with shops and everything. I suppose you could just build it anywhere. We would need to build some extra defense on the military locations anyway. I don't think the air base with the Brotherhood of Steel is a good choice. They sort of, um. Uh, they might be re something that you want to reinforce. Maybe build a little bit of a. Uh, get a few guys there so you can uh, have your supply lines going, but I, I don't see them being gigantic settlements with shops and everything. Oh, there's some kind of fence marker there. Not quite sure what to expect from this area in general. It's uh, somewhat close to a swamp.
That's the rationing side. Right in the head. It's our normal rat scorpions, though. You're really thorough. You know that? Not really giant rat scorpions. Okay, there's a hospital, some kind of village maybe. Um, looks like this is just a settler. Be someone who lost their family living here on their own now. Look, Bosco, I ain't going back. I'm over 60, for God's sakes. Let me, let me alone. I've done well enough over the years. Saved my cabs. I found a little place in the woods south of the city. I'm gonna settle in and enjoy my retirement. Not many that can say that these days. Best scrap in the Commonwealth, right here. Hear anything lately? Nothing you'd be interested in. Now, I got merchandise to move here, if you're still buying. Let's see what you have. I have something I can sell. What exactly are you selling anyway? A lot of shotgun shells. Bull barrel powerful 44 pistol. Sniper rifles, combat shotguns, double barrel shotgun, assault rifles. Holy shit. Super sledgehammer. Okay, maybe some ammunition. She has huge amounts of good uh, shot, good ammunition. Take fifty cals, much as I can get. Hmm. Which isn't a lot. I will add a few drugs on top of that, so I don't have to. Pay anything. I should have a battle cry. So, new business model. We team up with a mortuary. You see where I'm going with this. This doesn't look right. Not right or wrong move, pal. 
Why all the traps? It might be a good idea to be on the other side of those defenses. Doesn't look right. Not right at all. A lot of ammunition. This doesn't look right. Not right at all. Yeah, well, quite a few precautions. I guess they picked the guys living here turn into ghouls or uh or what? Other way we're we're gonna have to leave. What is it? Let's see what I got in my pockets. No, that's good enough. Don't think we can really settle a lot of this settlement. Fairline Hill Estates. Um, and it's pretty much sanctuary redone. Not quite, but. Uh, Get the basic feel of it, it's just a settlement. If I wanted to build in a settlement like this, I could have just built in sanctuary. No real difference. Well, except that uh, it doesn't necessarily well, depends. The loading one. You might want to wipe the blood off anything you find there. I mean, do these buildings count as the colony size, settlement size? They do. Uh, there's no way to take them down. So you would be limited from the start to look at. If they don't, then there's no problem really. More bubby pins. Still like sort of secondary currency, like ammunition. Abundant, no weight, and have value. What does the third house, fourth house? And about 
three houses left. What is that? It's a... Oh, it's a city, isn't it? Directly south. So there's no real colony there, at least. Uh, very unlikely to be exactly where I think I was thinking of. There's a couple of extra easy to see colony sites still there. And I have really no idea what they would be like. Nice. He can't likes. More bobby pins. Final house. I suppose they might have something in their backyards like storms, storm shelters, storage areas, that sort of thing. Well, there's something spotting us here. I'm all money. So, lovely little place, but not a, uh, not that interesting. I'll go sec check the center of it. Those quick run through the backyards. This we doesn't look right. Not right at all. No shit. Although I'm not quite sure what she's talking about. This doesn't look right. Not right at all. Small yards with nothing particularly odd. This doesn't look right. Yeah, nothing looks right. So it's the zombie building. Well, there's a uh, mine here. Or a trap at least. It's a trap. This doesn't look right. Not right at all.
might want to wipe the blood off anything you find there. So a few brawn. A trader. Children's playground. And the crows. And some of us is a city. I suppose we would have to go further south. Through whatever that city is. I'm not sure what I'm even looking really. Is it worth it? There's a church and everything. It's not that big of a deal, really. Somerville Path Place could be a one. Yeah, well, Oberland would allow us to. Well, yeah. Not exactly a great place, no matter how I look at it. I wonder if we can build up something here in the wasteland. Summer will place. This wasn't. Who the hell lives here? Well, Oberland Station would be fairly near the Starlight Tribe. Um, more importantly, perhaps it's a uh, it has a much more sinful location. I'd be able to give fire support to critical areas. Although I'm sort of uh, interested in what's Warwick Homestead. No, um. I think Overland might be a good secondary site to test things out. I, I don't want to necessarily go on any kind of a construction pre spree right now. But I want to take another look at the general area that we have as our disposal here. Well, it's basically a switching station with a garden. What's the usable area here? It's uh, fairly small, so in a way that could be very, very much what we need. We would build basically around the uh, ground here because we do want some farming capability. Food for seven is more than enough for the colony of this uh, intention. However, um, I'd like to get rid of this piece of crap entirely, although I don't think it's really possible. I'm curious, what can we get rid of? Uh, Certainly trees would be good, or wood in general. And they all go to this area. We're gonna have to build a foundation and wooden floors. Uh, the fencing is totally worthless. I'm not too worried about construction space itself. Yeah, the location of this is good too. We want to bring it inside whatever we're constructing. A 
sort of have a self-sufficient, uh, almost closed-off settlement. Not necessarily, but uh, something that you could do with minor modifications. If that's how you feel about it. Game crashed. What's the problem? Some raiders have been threatening us if we didn't give them supplies. We told them to take a flying leap. Now that we had the Minutemen backing us up, but they didn't seem too impressed. Said they'd be back with their friends to make an example out of us. We're not soldiers. We're hoping you can help us set up some defenses before it's too late. Don't worry. I'll help you deal with these raiders. Thank God. You showed up just in the nick of time. Build defenses. I got a face change and was a girl for a few months. But yeah, you should have seen the looks back at HQ. Right, right, right. We need to go somewhere else to get the necessary re resources. Yeah, we got all the wood we probably are gonna need, but uh, unless we want to live inside a wooden fence, uh, that's not gonna be enough. Right. Um, what exactly would we need? We're gonna have to build some defense after all. Well, we could do with machine gun turret, but that's a lot of crap. Not saying I won't do it, just it's a lot of crap. Um, mm. and we need what resources from somewhere else. They ain't looking for trouble, I hope. Change of plans. I have to deal with this first. Little defenses. See if we can just quick travel away from here. We'll come back with the necessary resources. I'd like to. Well, that sort of forces me to build something there now. A couple of turrets would probably suffice for the mission itself, but since we are sort of going to have to start building anyway, we might as well put a little bit of a foundation for what we have planned for there. It's more or less a test case. Ooh, we failed. That's no good. You can't even leave the place? Um, but what if you don't have any resources for that? Huh. I can do a shitty turret, but there's no fucking way I can uh, just turn into some kind of a large defensive fortific- this place to a defensive fortification. Um, can I talk to you again? Got work to do. Can't talk now. When they said they wanted turrets, we did it. I was afraid we were making a mistake trying to stand up to those bastards, but the Minutemen came through for us. Farming's as honest as honest work. That doesn't mean that. Okay. Forgets. So we didn't have to build any defenses anyway. Just fight them off. Okay. 
Um, the mission description gave us a very different impression. I suppose it is what it is. He can admire us. We're gonna talk. We've been making the rounds, doing the job. It's time you learn the big secret. Everyone thinks that Desdemona is the big boss. She calls the ops, gives the rah-rah speeches, but it's just an act. She does what I tell her to because the railroad, it's my show. It's been that way since I founded it. You? You founded the railroad? Sure. Me and Johnny D and Watts. Hell, that was over 60, 70 years ago. After a while, you lose count. I tell everyone I get the occasional face change to stay anonymous. Truth is, it takes a lot of work to keep this mug handsome. We've come a long way since the beginning. We've done a lot of good, saved a lot of sins. But we're about more than that. We are the last and only line of defense between the Institute and the Commonwealth. Hell, maybe even the world. You've lied to me at least once. This is just more of the same. Yeah, you got me. But you're gonna hear the same sort of lies elsewhere. There's other organizations out there, and in time, I'm sure they're gonna spoon-feed you their own patented form of bullshit. Ignore the verbiage and look at what they're doing, what they're asking you to do, what sort of world they'd have you build, and how they're gonna pay for it. Hmm. So, what do you think of the other groups out there? Love the job you're doing with the Minutemen. Historically, they've been little better than policemen, though. The Brotherhood. Well, I met them on an op in Capital Wasteland a few years back. But now with Elder Maxon, let's just say... Not a fan. And the Institute? Well, do I really need to answer that? But what I think doesn't matter. The real question is, what do you think? And... At the end of the day, you'll need to make a choice. Make it the right one. So basically, Minutemen Institute or Brotherhood. It's sort of a odd deal, because we have no idea what the Institute wants. But I would have to imagine that their goal cannot be totally ridiculous. I mean, it's not the <laughs> evil mustard twirl type of a plan. It might be some kind of a major recovery. I mean, even with a couple of hundred years past, Wasteland is still one kind of a, one pile of gigantic pile of shit, basically. So uh, it's not necessarily all that um, bad of an idea to maybe have some kind of additional plan. Something a little bit more ambitious than just trying to scrounge things together a little, little by little. I mean, they, at least uh, it seems that the Institute has been able to maintain itself through all this. They have uh, technical capabilities that no one else here has, so maybe they could be sort of a government. Uh, of all of us sorts. Okay, who are you and what are you doing? For vegan. Um, I, I need daylight. I need actually... Hey! What is it? Loading up or loading off? Yeah, load up. Gonna need a little bit more ammo. Three oh eight. Yeah. Probably should start buying this. I love old world widgets. Worth a fair amount too. 
Can't move. Unloaded everything and I still can't move. I st it might be better for you to do your grand colony on a site like this. I mean, that's a vast area you can build on compared to a small one. The colony size restriction might be much he more heavy in the area I'm thinking of. I, I didn't even pay attention to it when I was there. Probably should have. Green dress. Why can I modify these? Ah, I have ballistic weave now. This wasn't possible earlier. You can add massive resistance to normal clothing. I mean, uh, ballistic weave Mark V would be much better armor than our current armor is, and it's on a uh, basically an evening dress, lab coat. Same here. Damage and energy resistance. Um, hmm. interesting. Interesting indeed. Thirty-five fragmentation grenades. New. Fifteen has to be good enough. What's our current armor? It's like. It's not even providing 10 points of armor per armor piece. Uh, and it, we have about 5 pieces that constitute it. And a single piece of clothing could have 100 in ballistics and energy protection now. So, it, energy protection wise, leather armor might get somewhere there. But other than that, no. Uh, the interesting point. I think is though that not all all of those clothing pieces can have the same armor but the clothing pieces don't use up the same equipment slots at least I'm pretty sure of that lab coat uses everything but tie and helmet cream dress only uses legs and chest so you could add more armor on top of this Queen dress is the same. So maybe some kind of a dress. And then added armor on top of that. It's basically the same that we used early on. Charisma, charisma boosting uh, equip, uh, dress and um, leather patches on it and the cowboy hat. Anywho. We need to get rid of extra weight. But what I want to do though is uh, talk to someone and send them on the supply ro ro route to our new test colony, Overland Station. Only one guy living there, I suppose. It got attacked pretty badly. Uh, 
pipe in. If you work, you eat. It's as simple as that. So he's a provisioner now. I'm basically... I, I'm not going to hold uh, specific construction components there. So I need to have a supply line. Okay. It should allow me to get a little bit of extra carry weight. I do have melons. Railroad stealth void. Why are they different from normal stealth boys? They're uh, higher in value, look the same. I'd like to do one more thing. Actually two more things. There was uh, some kind of a settlement near here, I don't recall its name. Maybe it's the West Everett Estates. It it was full of uh, green skins. The thing is, the northern side of that place was a uh, more or less a construction yard and had a lot of uh, bags of cement. I'd like to pick up those. Able to lay down foundations where we need to. It's probably unnecessary, but. Um, if the place hasn't been respawned, it should be easy enough. And if it has, we'll fight a little. What? Who's there? I should have a battle cry. We have a tip. Got him. Died. Still, that doesn't really matter. Extra circuitry will be useful for defensive structures, and we wanted a little bit of cement. That's all. There are additional superintendents here. We can easily avoid them. I'll eat a hound meat. I don't recall all that many super mutants here in the first place. There were more there. And I don't care about that. 
I suppose the quarry would have been a nice location too, and that's something we haven't really visited yet. Packs of cement. You don't need a lot. You probably need a single for foundation slot so we can build around that. It only wouldn't hurt to have more though. I've noticed that it's uh it's it was very common in Sanctuary, but after that it has been on the, the it's the exact opposite. You see very That's few of not them. Even worth picking up, boss. So four cement bags. That's it. That's it. That's it. Weapons. Bones. Well, it's not the nicest thing to take, but uh, we could use more oil. Machinery always requires oil. I'll go and uh, I'll dump the equipment here and go and report our success with the Miller device. See if something has happened anyway. I don't really require a hard hat though. Go to Oberland Station later on. Give it a little bit of time. Maybe the first supply drop is, has arrived there at that point. There's more going on than you know. Trust me. Hi. Hey, you placed another one of my babies. Bring in that yummy data. You got the time? I got another site we could place another one of my babies. But if you're here to check out the latest and greatest, that's good. I gotta go. Right you are. You need to hit the dead drop. Randolph's got a message for you. <clears throat> One more hour until my shift ends. Although did drop. The business in Good Neighbor is concluded, right? The extent of our operation there is quite sensitive. Desdemona. H222 made it out of the Commonwealth. It's a tradition to down a glass for your first successful run. Well done. Urban. When running synths out of the well, wastelanders can be a bigger problem than even the Institute. Sometimes the story's got it right. You kicked ass at Malden. I hope to God the Institute doesn't find us here. At least not soon. Hey, Doc. I suppose you're here for my medical services. Let's see what's wrong with you today. Hmm. I'm fine. Gonna pass. Fine. I want to flush your system with rad away before your hair falls out. Agent identified. Another DIA cache awaits recovery. I can recover it. Location of cache 
being transmitted to your pip boy. Conversation terminated. Up three six zero. No idea where that would be. Where are we going now? Ooh. General Atomics Galleria again. I guess there's a limited amount of uh, deck drop signs. General Atomics Factory. I've never been in this. Actually, I have been in this area. Not here. Close enough to the castle. Wonder why the castle only has four people. It has a recruitment beacon. Well, actually, it's a radio. It doesn't have a recruitment beacon at all. Right. Dia Cash. Asterisk Consumer Robotics. Another good neighbor area. It's a crap. Fine, fine. Show supply line. Glad you're with us. How much carry weight do I have? It's fine. Perfectly fine. I think I'll end it here. Go through these missions, then check the Oberland situation. At that time, the resources of our main colony should be available for use for construction purposes. And we're gonna build our second crappy piece of shit colony there. See what we can do. Um, the intention is this time to build basically a single structure that covers it all. Much more, I, I suppose, compact site. Only for maybe six, seven people in general. Build up. Build up, not sideways. Vertical, not horizontal building. I do hope, because it's a very small site, it doesn't mean that we don't have a lot of uh, construction. I mean, the settlement size is not going to be uh, too restrictive. It could be, but um, it base the area basically has nothing at the moment, so it should be very low. If it isn't, it means that uh, if you want to build anything really noteworthy, you have to build a lot on a large area. Strip it clean of everything extra and then just build what you're going to build there. I suppose you don't have to wall off the farms nearby even, or even necessarily build farms. But in a case of a sudden attack, it would protect the any workers. Uh, what time of day are we talking about? Looks like night time to me. Or is it? East. So it's daytime. But Sun's, the sun is just rising. Mila device, cash, and another dead drop from the suspicious cell of our little, little railroad. It has to be compromised, I think, to some extent, because otherwise this becomes a very uneventful chain of quests for this faction. 
Okay, it's night time. Apparently, it wasn't the sun I saw. Still, hardly matters. We're here just for the message itself. Might want to rest, so I'll wait a few hours. Um, don't want to run around for night time. They're hostiles at National Guard training yard again. That's like what the third time the game is sending me there. What's the actual message? Randolph Safe House reporting. Package one is away. No He's problems. Route cleared as promised. Runner Reports recipient is, as of now, closed for business. Switchboard spooked her. We're working a new route. If our friendly neighborhood heavy can take out hostiles at the following location, that would make our life a lot easier. Mr. Tim's out. Can we trust Mr. Tim's? That's the question. And I don't know. 